Previously on Dance Moms. Brooke is going away this weekend, so I'm looking to replace her. Here comes Peyton again. Peyton has had some altercations with our girls. I don't care if you don't like me. No one wants you here, Leslie. Oh, guess what? I'm here. Star Power is the largest competition in the United States. Second place, Abby Lee Dance Company. A tenth of a point. You almost won! I'm taking her over to the other competition. What? Hurry up. Go, 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 go. Maddie, don't wait for me. Run. Coming up on Dance Moms, we are going to Ohio, to her territory. He has seen the ever-famous Abby Lee Dance Company. We are ready to create a winning number. Jill called me yesterday. She said that she's been driving so far. Here's my violin. I'm so sad for Jill. With the choreography that Paige has, Kendall is going to beat her. Step up her choreography so she has a chance to beat Kendall. Come on. We'll just do it really quick. I changed the choreography because I just don't think this dance is good enough. Let's talk about Woodbridge, Virginia. You're a tenth of a point loser. It's time to cowboy up here. The Abby Lee Dance Company is somebody to beat. They're not thrilled that they won. They're thrilled that they beat you. You need to challenge yourself. So if your leg's here, find the girl in class whose leg is here and go stand next to her at the bar. Fight for that. That's how you get better. You have to want to win more than I want it for you. Now, I want to talk about this week. We will be traveling to Ohio. Oh, yippee skippy. We're going to Ohio this week. I can't wait to see my bestie, Kathy. We might see Kendall. And we might see Vivian. All I know is that the Abby Lee Dance Company will be so hot that they will become apple pie. And your group is going to be like the Alamo. The name of the group dance is Land Unforgiven. It's about territory. We are going to Kathy's territory. We're gonna stick a steak right into that beef jerky. Everybody standing before me is in the group dance. However, I'm gonna bring a few ringers in, just like the Wicked Witch of the West. This is the first time that we're gonna see Kathy and those stinking little rotten apples since they beat us in New Jersey. If we have a chance to even get to nationals, we need to beat her and beat her big time. She always uses older dancers in her routines. Let's fight fire with fire. I'm gonna put a few of my older girls in this week's routine. So, let's start at the bottom of the pyramid. Brooke, you're still on probation. Obviously, Brooke was at the bottom of the pyramid. I mean, she wasn't even there. This weekend is my first formal school dance, and I was wondering if I would be able to go to it. She was at her eighth grade farewell dinner dance. Bye-bye. Next, we have Mackenzie. How'd you get down there? What happened? How many times did I tell you to spit your gum out? Maybe 10. So that's nine times too many. Next. Nia, I think you're there because you had a hard time with those turns. And it was your legs that needed straightened. So all that technique you worked on, what happened? Next, we have Paige. You see that probation sticker? Hopefully that's going to come off of there. Next, we have Chloe. Group dance is where you made the mistake. Solo was good. The first person on top of the pyramid is Maddie. And the second person on top of the pyramid is also Maddie. I guess Maddie's picture is kind of like a gremlin. You just add water and they multiply. Now, I want to congratulate Maddie. Two crowns, two titles in less than two hours. There she is! Two titles in one day. That's pretty darn good. Maddie may be on top of the pyramid twice, but that doesn't mean she's going to get a solo. I want her to be well rested, and I want her to be a champion. Paige, you're 11. You're going to be our title entrant. 
9 to 11, Paige will be competing directly against Kendall for the title. I need Paige to show Jill and Kendall that leaving the Abby Lee Dance Company was the biggest mistake of their lives. You will be doing Tongue Twister. It's your responsibility to know it. She will not have a rehearsal. She's welcome to use the studio, but she has to get in here on her own. Paige's solo is one she knows well. In fact, she's entered it, then pulled it twice. She should know this choreography like the back of her hand. And I want to see a crown on your head. Do you understand? All righty. So I'm going to take this probation off right now. I think Paige is going to be a nervous wreck. But I know if she does the routine that I gave her, she will hold her own. Chloe, you will also be doing a solo. It's entitled Angry Bird. The whole bird solo thing isn't really new for Chloe. She's been a swan, a raven. This week, she's an angry bird. So I don't know. What's next? Maybe a peacock? All right. So ladies, you are dismissed. Thank you. Girls, spread apart real quick. Let's go. I thought it was weird that the Maddie was on there twice, only it's because like Nobody else was given the opportunity to do two dances. Like, next yeah. week, there'll be three Maddies. This should be the whole top yeah. of the pyramid. <laughs> the moms were giving me crap because Maddie's on the top of the pyramid twice because she won two crowns in one day. If their kids won two crowns in one day, I'm sure Abby would put their kid up there twice, too. She was really happy when Abby said she didn't have a solo this week. She was like, oh. She was very pleased. Girls, listen to me. We're going to our next door neighbor, and we're taking their territory. She always throws those ringers in there. I'm going to pull three ringers in, too. I would like to introduce Catherine from the Elite Company. And this is Ariel from the Teen Company. And this is Nina, who you all know, from the Senior Company. I want to make sure that we beat Kathy. I just want to even out the playing field. If Kathy wants to play all these games, who am I to argue? I have to say, you know, I'm a little offended that she needs to bring in ringers. She is always the first to criticize Kathy for putting those older girls and I younger know. girls in the group, but she can't wait to do it. She's not above it, obviously. I think it's incredibly hypocritical for Abby to always talk about Kathy putting older girls in the group, and then this week, she's going to do the same thing by adding older girls to her group number. So you're saying to these kids, you can't beat her on the own, even though they have done nothing but beat her except for one time. Hey, apples, let's go. Come on, kids. Everybody, I have, like, a really cool surprise for you. First of all, let me tell you about the piece that we're going to be doing. We are doing an Asian piece. And the whole thing is going to be that there's an Asian princess with all the little lotus flowers, and that there are two very handsome Ming Dynasty warriors that are fighting over the Asian princess, which is going to be Vivi. She has to decide which handsome young man she wants. When I first started at Candy Apples, Kathy was gangbusters over Kendall. She was getting her all kinds of dance opportunities, and it was great. But things have changed a little bit. That's kind of died down, and now we're just, just another number. Here is what is the amazing surprise. Could I please have my guest choreographers come in? This is Mitchell Fink, and this is his assistant, Michael. So they'll be, they'll be doing the choreography for you. Mitchell confided to me that for the past couple weeks, he has seen the ever-famous Abby Lee Dance Company. So Kathy doesn't have time to choreograph a new number for our kids to compete against Abby. So she brings in not one, but two choreographers. We are ready to create a winning number for you. Yay. This week. All right, let's okay. go. All right. Let's go to work. Good luck. Ball change. Use your plie. Don't dance like a stick. Chloe, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm so excited that Miss Abby put the older girls in our group routine because I really look up to them. Everybody, you're dismissed. Paige, you need to be in class. So do you. Are you excited for Paige this week? Not you know, all. I'm excited for Paige because she's getting the opportunity. But right. I don't think it's 
a fair chance. No, I, I, I agree. don't think that the dance is She's choreographed well. She's trying to do this dance since I, last summer at Nationals, and it keeps getting pulled. I just hope she goes and does better than Kendall, and I know that sounds terrible. No, no it doesn't. No. No, it doesn't. We're upstairs in the viewing room, and we're watching the girls take gymnastic class. And, you know, Abby put so much pressure on these girls to beat Candy Apple this week. So why are they taking gymnastics class? Why aren't they working on their solos? My favorite part of Pyramid was when she said, Paige, you need to win this crown. No excuses, but no practice for you with any teachers. Do it on I your know. own. Do it on your own. I, I think I'm going to go down and say something. Do you want to go down? Yes, I might as well join you, because I certainly have a few things to get off my chest. Christy and I are going to go down and talk to Abby, because I have a few choice words I want to say to her about Paige's choreography. Abby? Yes. Can we speak to you for a moment? Certainly. What's up? There's a lot expected of our girls this week with yes. everything going on. Why are they in a gymnastics class and not working on their solos? Well, your daughter is really weak in gymnastics and she needs to work on it. My Paige daughter is in gymnastics. Her class here. I mean, someone has to teach her her dance. She's known her dance since last. Abby, summer in she Florida. learned her dance for an hour last summer. Right. We pulled it because she didn't know it and the costume didn't work. And she learned it for an hour last week and has never run it since. That's two hours. That is not teaching my daughter to dance. Kelly should be glad Paige has a solo. After pulling it and pulling it and pulling it, that kid shouldn't even get a solo anymore. She knows the dance. Yeah, and it sucks. Let's just put it this way. With the choreography that Paige has, Kendall is going to beat her. She does a bunch of hip moves and poses. Poses. Put something in it. Go in there, step up her choreography so she has a chance to beat Kendall. But you won't do that because it's Paige. So today I'm going to go to lunch with Christy. I really need somebody to talk to about what to do about Paige's choreography. I'd like a glass of water and a Cosmopolitan. Absolutely. No, I'm the same. OK. I need a drink to go back to the studio and watch my daughters dance, because the choreography sucks. Oh, well, Chloe's choreography sucked last week. So I feel your pain, sister. Kelly and I really just want Abby to give the same amount of attention to detail for our children's dances as she does for Maddie's dances. She's in the 11-year-old category, and she's shaking her butt. I know. You're going to hire a choreographer? I'm not going to hire a choreographer, because then That'll just be World War III. Like, I'm not doing that. You're going to do it yourself. I am going to do it myself. You know, I danced at Abby's years ago myself, and I may have forgotten a few steps, but I think I can handle a little re-choreographing. Do you think Abby will notice if I change Paige's dance? She's going to be mad. Abby is not a rational person. Even if Kelly's the one who changes Paige's choreography, Abby's going to take that out on Paige. And you're setting your daughter up to take the wrath of Kong. What? Just know that you really are going to open up a okay. huge what fight. What can of worms can I open? In order to try and secure a victory, I've brought in two guest choreographers who are doing a routine to end all routines. And Abby is going down this weekend. Bend, okay, and then up. Vivian by herself, go! go bump, 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 There we go, good! Okay, okay, okay. Down one, two, three, hit four, five, six, seven, eight, work. Oh! Yeah. That was sweet. Good. That yeah. gave me a cavity. I think that Kendall overall is a nice talent, and I think she has a lot of potential. I just wish that technically, maybe we would kick it up a notch. You're just sitting here, and you're just looking straight forward, and the judges are out there, so you need to make eye contact with the judges. You know what I mean? Yes. OK. Open. Pop. Pop. Pretty hands. Here at Candy Apples, you have to treat every rehearsal as if you are performing. And I don't think that Kendall's on our page yet when it comes to that. Nice rehearsal that we had. Good. So nothing you wanted to change, Kathy? Oh, no, I don't want to change anything. I feel that Kathy needs to step it up a little bit. Kathy has lost interest in Kendall as a dancer. Good job. As always, a pleasure to work with both of you.
sorry, Chloe, now remember, we talked about this. Angry bird. I need to see it in character. I need to see beautiful feathers. I need to see strength. This week, my solo is called Angry Bird. I guess I do well with dark numbers because a lot of people have told me that I do. So I try not to be dark in real life, but on stage, you have to perform, so I have to perform. The Angry Bird piece is contemporary in style, but it has a lot of ballet technique behind it. And Chloe excels at that. Jill called me yesterday, and um, why are you still talking to her? Oh, I, I think Ugh. Jill's really sweet. Yeah, I, I like she's her. sweet, all right. But she um, said that she's been driving so far, which is ridiculous that she's driving two hours. Here's my violin. I'm so sad for Jill. She's so excited to see us. <laughs> you this made weekend. your bed, lie in it. Down, out. You gotta hit that split. Jill said Kathy can't choreograph things like Abby does. I mean, she knows that, so she had to bring someone in. Oh, so she's afraid. She must really want to win. Very nice, very nice. You know what we need to change is this thing where you do, what, what is that thing where you go like this and like this? Okay. Did we change that? Okay, because that's ugly. I want to change Paige's dance, and I know by me doing that, Paige is going to get in trouble, but I'm really just doing this to help my kid. And then how about you do like a fan kick or something up, yeah. Okay, and then we'll add some harder stuff to it. I don't want to do the dance because Abby's going to throw a chair again. Done. You're finished. Next. Who's so up? We won't even show her that we changed it. Then she's going to yell at me when I get off stage. And who cares? chance to take Paige and run her dance one more time before we get on the bus. She is going for a title and is expected to beat Kendall. I want to do an A. I don't want Abby to see the changes, because if she sees them, she's going to yell at us, and then you're not going to be able to do them. I changed the choreography because I just don't think that this dance is good enough to win a crown in a junior category. Okay, now whenever you do this, aren't you supposed to be looking forward? All the moves that I'm putting in for Paige, I think is really gonna make the dance technically difficult enough that she has a great chance of beating Kendall. Do you like this way better than the way she had it? Yes. Well, let's hurry up and get out of here before Abby sees us. don't touch anything. Here we are in Akron, Ohio. This is Kathy's home turf. The last time we were up against her, we lost. That's not gonna happen again. If we're gonna get to nationals, we need to take Kathy down. The competition is ahead of schedule. They're running ahead of schedule 30 minutes, so we thought we had a big break, and we, we don't. Come on, I don't want you to waste time. For once in my life, I'm glad that we're rushed in the dressing room, because I don't think Abby's gonna have enough time to run Paige solo. Paige, remember where those judges are. Come on, stay together. It's time for my dancers to step it up. We're gonna walk in there as winners, and we are gonna walk out of there as winners. Just think about your energy level, okay? Just lots of personality and style. Kendall is going directly up against Paige. Kendall has to be at the top of her game. Let's keep going over oh, yeah. it in her head. Yes, yes. Okay. Two minutes before we walk, girls, two minutes. I'm expecting Paige to go out there, do the routine I taught her, and beat Kendall. But don't worry about it. It's going to be fine. Paige is a nervous wreck. Abby's expecting her to beat Kendall. She's expecting her to win a title. That's a lot of pressure on her. Yeah, as long as she can, are you doing good? She can't say it for it. I just hope she can pull it off. Kathy is going to back me up on this. I need to see your center lead and I need to see your elbow yeah. stand and a chin stand. As always, there really is not enough time for Kendall to go over her number. 
Boom. Oh, that's that nice. Even better. That's nice. I'm paying a teacher, but as her mother, I have to take her back into the hallway and run her solo for her. Chloe, you are a bird from the minute you step on that stage. Get the arms way back, break the elbows. If something happens, bird steps, her best saute, please saw pot all bird like steps, stag leap, stag leap, get it? All right, let's go. the solo and so a little bit nervous but i think that i just need to go out there dance and i'll be okay solo age 10 chloe angry bird winner 16. She has a big turn sequence coming up where she drops to one knee at the end. I'm just praying that she remembers that that earring is there so she doesn't end up with an earring in her knee. Paige is all nerves right now. I think she's nervous about what Abby's gonna do when she realizes that we changed the choreography once she goes on stage. I love Abby Joel. Paige does what I gave her, she's gonna beat Kendall. I certainly know when it's not my choreography. This routine belonged in an elementary school talent show. Then it clicked. Oh, I guess mommy choreographed the routine. I think Kelly just cost her kid crap. The first move that I changed came on. Abby was like, what was that? She's rolling around, her feet are all sickled underneath her. She does the cartwheel over the chair into a side area. Her legs are bent, feet are sloppy. Kelly, you're much more successful at the real bar, not the ballet bar. Stick to what you do best. <laughs> I am so proud of Paige. She went against Abby and did the dance that she wanted to do, and I think that takes a lot of courage. I liked the solo that my mom changed, and I think I did it well, but I know that Abby's going to be mad. Paige is going directly against Kendall for the title. Will she win now? Not with those new moves from your mom, Kelly. Up next, we have entry number 442, Kendall, a junior Miss Next Star contestant. My mom wants me to prove to Kathy that I'm a good dancer and I can beat Abby's. on stage for her solo. The music comes on and it starts to skip immediately. I see the fear in her little eyes. Kendall's not gonna stop. She's gonna dance this number, but I know her fear is the music, she's not on point, and her number's a mess. I'm sitting here watching 
watching Kendall's dance and it's very flatlined. Kendall has taken none of the corrections that I have given her. She's not performing, she's not sharp, she is definitely not making eye contact with the judges. Her solo is just mundane. My former student, Kendall, is a beautiful little girl. But the Kendall that stepped out on that stage and did that number was certainly not the kid that I've trained. She was a hot mess. What did Kathy have her doing? All I know is she's wasting a whole lot of time in a car driving to Ohio when she could be in my studio training. Let's face it, Jill, big mistake. Big. Jill, it's not a big deal when something like that happens because I'll tell you why. To whom? It's, it's not a big no. deal. To a nine-year-old little girl or to... Well, you, no. did, you didn't let me finish. Okay, okay. Had Kathy taken a little more time with Kendall, none of this would have happened. I know. You can't humiliate her over and over and over and over. I know. I know. I just... I know. Don't let her do it's that. Not, it's not your fault. I'm starting to think that Kathy took us in only despite Abby. She's not a good candy apple. She didn't fit in at all. She's too pushy and too opinionated, and she thinks her kid is way better than she really is. It's the truth of the matter. We all know that Jill is a studio hopper. If it's not happening now, she's walking around whining. Is she truly one of my apples? Not really. She's definitely an outsider looking in. She's just a little girl who wants to dance. Abby can't freaking look at her. Kathy could care less about her. No one cares about the kid. This isn't what it's all about. You went up on stage. You did what mommy told you to do. And you were fabulous. Right? I'm sitting with Paige. She's upset, she thinks Abby's gonna be mad. And as a mom, that's really hard. You know, do I let my kid follow her dreams and try to achieve something bigger in life? Or do I let her just sit behind and not have her dance teacher be mad at her? Abby said at Pyramid, for you to work on it yourself, that she wasn't helping. So that's what you did. Mm -hmm. That's you, true. You that's took exactly. her, that, is that not that's what she exactly said at Pyramid? That's exactly what she said. Absolutely. So you followed her directions and you and your mother worked on it, and we didn't like a few things weren't working out in the dance, so we changed Absolutely. them. Absolutely. That's it. I know the storm is coming. I can feel it, and I'm going to be caught up in a whirlwind of just, I don't even know. Hey, what were you doing out there? I wanted to talk to Paige about her routine to find out what she was doing on that stage. As soon as she started, it was like the wrong pose on the chair. I'm like, what is she doing out there? Well, you told her to work on it herself, so we worked on it at home. Hey, you have to realize that when you're kind of up for a title, you want to do a flawless routine. Maybe her teacher should work with her more, and then we'll do the dance that you choreograph. Kelly, stop with the we. It's not about you. It's about Paige. You have to trust that I know what I'm doing. Paige's goal was to go out and do a dance that she felt like she was pushing herself. What was wrong with the dance that I choreographed? And besides your mother's opinion, what, what else? Because I did easy steps. Because you do easy steps? I just wanted to be like challenged more. I was so proud of Paige for sticking up for herself. She actually spoke to Abby and said, you know, I didn't like the choreography. It was too easy. You can't send her for a title and not have anything in it. The things that she put in it were a mess. If she doesn't challenge herself, she's never going to get better at anything. I don't want to put her on the stage making her do things she's not ready to do. I want her to do what she does well. Is she capable of more? Absolutely. But what I gave her was clean, and it would have clearly beat Kendall. She went behind my back, she threw stuff in it, and you, as a parent, condoned it. How dare you? This is my name out there, and as much as you and Christy and everybody else wants to think, it's your kid, it's your kid, it's your kid, you know what? It's not. You don't go behind somebody's back. Don't raise your kid to be a sneak, Kelly. This is all Kelly's fault. I blame the parent, not the child. Don't cry. I'm heartbroken because I'm the one that helped her change her dance. Don't be sad. I'm sorry, it's mommy's fault. I'm the one that made you change it. <laughs> OK, guys, let's hear a little DC chant. C A D C what? Yeah. 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 Oh yes, but it was.
just by one point, remember? Doesn't matter. One point is not a landslide. The last time that we encountered the Abby Lee Dance Company, we did beat them by one point. We would rather have a landslide victory, but I certainly do enjoy beating Abby Lee. Girls, we have like five minutes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, that's beautiful. I decided to bring older girls to the competition team this week because I want to make sure that we beat Kathy. Are these girls ringers? Absolutely. Johnny Appleseed came into Ohio to plant all the apple trees, and we came in to chop them down. There you go. You own this theater. You own that stage. It is your territory. The last time we met that wicked witch from the West, they beat us, and that is never going to happen again. Here comes Johnny Appleseed. Chop, 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 chop. about Kathy. You know, all morning long, she hasn't come into our dressing room. She hasn't said a word behind us. She needs more fiber or some prune juice in her diet because she's just not feeling like herself. Next we're going to perform in a 3-8-A, open small group category, age 10, Asian Empire. definitely be competitive. I don't think this is going to be a slam dunk for the Abby Lee Dance Company. I thought Kathy's number was intense. I don't know if we're going to beat them. I'm a lot worried. Forgiven. So working the fields, taking over the crops. I want everybody in the state of Ohio to see the Apple Dance Company chop the apple tree down. look stunning on stage. The music was beautiful. There wasn't a lot of turns or anything like that. However, it was clean. And the big girls really brought something to the number. Thank goodness for those three older girls. They are totally in control. They're calm. They're very ladylike. They don't get all flustered. They look beautiful. I am such a crybaby. It was a beautiful, quiet elegance. And I think that sometimes less is more. Overall, I have no idea. It was completely different than anything the judges had seen. 
and it was completely different than Kathy's number. We're gonna do the top 10 next star division, nine to 11 solos. I'm anxious about these awards. There is lots of talent here. 10th place, 426, it's Little Me. <laughs> Seventh place, 448 is Tongue Twister. That's Paige ends up seventh place. Kelly is gonna be beaming. Come on, Kelly, seventh place. Sixth place, 416, Angry Bird. Chloe gets called six for her solo, and I'm thrilled for her. I thought six was great. Paige actually got one step below Chloe with my choreography. And our highest scoring 9 to 11 soloist in the next star division will be. That Kendall better not be first place. There is no way that she's going to win and beat my girls with that performance. 428, Roxy. Kendall wasn't up there at all. So I guess Paige and I did pretty good. Next star 9 to 11 small groups. Here are the top five. Fifth place. 404A, Land Unforgiving. Lo and behold, we were fifth. So they proceed to announce fourth, third, second, no candy apples yet. And ladies and gentlemen, our highest scoring, 9 to 11, small group. I'm dreading first place. I'm pleased to want to go to candy apples. 441, Schindler's List. My intention this weekend was to beat Kathy. We were fifth. So, hey, I'm OK with that, as long as we made the top five and they didn't. I said Johnny Appleseed is going to chop that orchard down, and that's exactly what we did. It was really good, Paige. Our choreography was amazing. One step below Chloe, and Kendall didn't even place. Paige came here. And she did what she was supposed to do. She beat Kendall. Stop, 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 stop. Congratulations, Chloe. Congratulations, Paige. Abby congratulates Paige. I know that that had to kill Abby to do that. I think Paige's choreography did pretty good. She got in the top 10, right below Chloe. She did. I just think that you underestimate Paige. I think that if Paige gets some attention, she has the ability to go out there and place. I need to see a change in her. She needs to want it, Kelly. Paige? You told her at Pyramid right. you were she not working it. with her. That's true. Do it herself. She did it. That didn't mean to change the choreography. That means to just clean up what I've given you. If she comes in with easy choreography again, then you know what? I'm not going to deal with it. I'm going to do the same thing I did this week. You don't know what my plans are for you. You can't read my mind. You have to trust me. I will never forgive Kelly for putting that kid on the spot. I did not put you in it to fail. You're playing with fire, Kelly. They should have been in the top five. They should have been in the top five. Yeah. Well, the season's not over yet. Same about that. <laughs> let's be a little more prepared and let, you know? Uh, let's hand, let's Be hand prepared. Up. My music sucked. That's what I'm Kathy saying. never even looked at the number. No one cares but me. Kendall doesn't place in the top 10. I'm sick to my stomach. She wasn't prepared. She didn't have anybody pulling for her but her mother. But sometimes you need a little more than that. So apples, first of all, you all have glum faces, and rightfully so. I think she was embarrassed that she spent time and money on those choreographers and then the kids not placing. I know you have a lot of students, but if you can't give my student enough time, how can I continue to keep bringing her to you when you can't give her the time of day? I've just about had it with Jill. It's been a long, disappointing day for all of us, and she immediately starts to hound me with questions. I mean, maybe had you given her a little bit more time, she could have done well in her number. Kathy could have cared less. She had nothing to say to me or to Kendall. She blows me off. I'm starting to regret that I pulled Kendall out of Abby's dance group. I think Kendall and I, our time at the Candy Apples, may be drawing to a close. Let's go, guys. Hi, girls. Kelly.
Kathy, how you doing? Fine. I'm in Ohio. I'm on your turf. Not even a cocktail party the night before. No dinner at your house. I have to run into Abby and her goon squad as I'm trying to get on the elevator. And of course, their mouths are running like a typewriter. And I'm not wasting one breath on them. Kathy, come on. Where's your witty repartee? You know you brought a good piece. You know your piece is better. You know that teachers have come up to you and said, this is an outcry. How do you feel about it? What do you do? We will see them again and try harder. There'll come a day. Kathy, I can't believe you always have something to say. Now, nothing. Finally, we have our revenge. We set out to beat Kathy and her rotten apples, and that's exactly what we did.